On today's Church TechCast screencast show, what to do when ProPresenter 5 won't load on your Mac. The ChurchTechCast.com screencast show is generously provided for by viewers like you. Thank you. Head over to Patreon.com slash Paul Allen Cliff and you can support the show for as little as a dollar a month. Every little bit helps, so please join us. Well, so what you're watching right now is not the episode that I recorded on Tuesday, June 2nd, 2014. Because right now it is Sunday, June 8th, 2014. And you might be thinking, um, Paul, don't you normally record your screencast shows on Tuesdays? Yes, I do. But um, because of... The problem that I'm going to discuss today, I wasn't able to. So it turns out, not ProPresenter's fault, I actually kind of didn't think it was. I thought I'd probably done something or had a problem with my software, uh, my OS. Turns out it wasn't the OS, which I'm happy for. It was a piece of third-party software. But let me guide you through the steps that I took. I've made some notes that I'm going to look at and... Uh, We'll talk about this. Uh, first off, I do want to say, before you start troubleshooting ProPresenter, you need to define what the problem is, because different problems will have different fixes. So, if the problem is that um, it won't really always play a video, but another ProPresenter machine does, that could be a hard drive issue. So if that's the case, head over to Disk Utility, take a look. It's always worth uh, popping open uh, Disk Utility and doing a repair permissions on a Mac. A lot of times that'll fix a problem. Uh, if you have an audio problem, check your connections first. Personally, I just had an audio problem with uh, my MacBook Pro that rebooting it fixed it. And that's always a great troubleshooting step. If you've got a video out problem, check your connections first. Sometimes the mini display port connector, the Thunderbolt connector, they're the same size and everything. So sometimes those work their way loose and that will cause a problem with ProPresenter because you won't get a display out, but it'll look fine where you are. Um, but if you've got the problem that I had where it wouldn't load, Let's talk about uh, the steps that I would take. First step, reboot. More often than not, rebooting will solve your problem. Secondly, check your version number. If you do not have a current version, but it worked perfectly fine before, here's what I would suggest doing. Copy from the Applications folder the version of ProPresenter you have and put it somewhere else. The desktop temporarily is fine. Don't leave it there because that's not generally considering good. Uh, so don't leave it there, but in, download the new version, install it, see if that fixes it. Uh, let me show you exactly what happened with mine, and um, you can see exactly what's going on here. Let me get over into Finder because I took a screenshot. So let me move that to where you can see it a little bit better, and then we'll go over there. Okay. And that's what we got. You see that? That's a screenshot, so it's a still, but uh, that's basically what it did. The little uh, blue stuff down here was moving. For hours and hours it was moving, so... Other than that, it looks exactly like this. This is what it was doing. Uh, the end of this was stuck under the N before we got to the G forever. So that was the problem that I was dealing with, and it just wouldn't get past that. So if you're dealing with that problem, it could be that these steps will help you. If uh, it gets farther in this, then uh, it may or may not help. But I just thought that I would share what worked for me. So uh, download and install the current version. Of course, moving, as I say, moving the 
previously working version out of the applications folder to somewhere else so that you can swap them back and forth if you need to. It could be that the new version has a bug in it and it's too late to get this taken care of. So that's something that I would uh, consider doing. Now check if it's working. If it still doesn't do it, let's continue on. What I would do is I would go to renewedvision.com and this is they have a forum over there and here let me do that and we'll take a look at the steps in the forum well, it would work better if I selected the appropriate thing so here we are over in the renewed vision forum and uh, you're just seeing a little piece of it but if I scroll up you can see that um, we go to the Pro Presenter menu and go to Preferences. And under the General tab, click Reset All Preferences button at the bottom of the window. Quit the app, relaunch, and test. Well, this was a strange bug in that I could do that. It wasn't like it was locked up in the Finder or anything like that. That is something that I could do. I did that, no change. So I continued on to the advanced troubleshooting clean install. So I moved the com.renewedvision.propresenter5.plist file from user library preferences to the desktop. Then I rebooted because I'm on Mavericks, as it says here. Then I went to the application support folder and uh, it wasn't for just this user, I'd set it up for all users, so I went down here and went to Users Shared Renewed Vision Application Support, and um, I re renamed the ProPresenter file, ProPresenter 5 folder there as uh, ProPresenter 5 Old. Yeah, didn't do anything. Then I deleted the ProPresenter app and I reinstalled it, rebooted just for good measure, didn't do anything. Then I did a complete clean install by removing ProPresenter completely from the computer. That also didn't do anything. Someone suggested in the, uh, someone suggested in the forum that what I should do is started up in a clean user account. So if I had some sort of preference messed up that somehow didn't get unmessed up, that I could start it up in a clean user account. And I did. When I started it up in a clean user account, I got the exact same error, exact same problem. So that means there were no settings in ProPresenter that were having this, that were causing this issue. So it had to be either something in Mavericks, so something on the OS level, or another application that was working with it. Well, I hadn't updated Mavericks to the latest build, so while I was at it, I did that. Rebooted, tried it again, no change. So, since it could have been another application, and I had known the previous Tuesday I recorded a screencast show and it worked fine. So if it worked then, maybe any software installed after that was the cause. So what I did is I went into my applications folder and I sorted it by date. And I looked for anything that had changed after the second and, well, anything that had changed in the intervening days. Let's just put it that way. And I had two things that had been updated after it worked last and before it started not working. So that pretty much limited it down. One was DivX and another one was a little piece of software here. I've got the icon right here because I'm about to delete it, but before I do, you see Right here, it's not wanting to focus. Right there in the middle is a piece of software called Epic Cam. 
Now, I'm sure it works perfectly fine with other things, but with ProPresenter, they didn't like each other. Uninstalled that and DivX, just to make sure, and one of those two, I don't know absolutely which, but one of those two was what was causing the problem, because I've rebooted, and now it's golden. Changed nothing else. So, last reboot, startup ProPresenter, doesn't start. Uninstall DivX and Epic Cam, Reboot, start up ProPresenter, starts up beautifully. So sometimes it's just an innocuous piece of software. The purpose of that is to turn my iPhone into a webcam. I thought this would be great. I'd have another camera. I could set it up over here. I could cut between cameras. Very cool. No, it didn't work at all. So that is a lesson for you that you need to just know when, when did it break because while correlation isn't causation. That's, that's absolutely the truth. Sometimes correlation is something to look into. So it could be that maybe even the software itself didn't cause the problem, but something it installed did. And when I uninstalled it and made it go away, because both of them had an uninstaller, whatever that little piece of something was, made it work perfectly fine. So, what would I do if I were you, if I'd done all these steps, if I'd um, rebooted a few times, if I tried a new user account, if I tried the latest version of the OS and the latest version of ProPresenter, if I'd gone through the steps on the Renewed Vision Forum, which I'll put a link down below for that. In fact, I am going to copy and paste it right now. Copy. Um, just to make sure. There. Um, what would I do if none of that worked? I would call Renewed Vision themselves. I hear that um, if you do run into this problem, a lot of times they will remote into your machine and be able to check it. Now I do recognize that primarily this software is used on a Sunday morning and they may or may not be available at that time. So what I would suggest to you is make no changes on your machine after a Wednesday night or whenever you do practices during the week or come in on Monday just to make sure and make no changes and if you have problems you have a few days to fix it. This took me four days to fix and I didn't have to trudge into church to do it. I was just using the, the demo version on my MacBook Pro here. So you could see how this could be a big, big issue for you if you discover it at 11 a.m. on Sunday and your service starts at 11.30. Whoa, that would really mess things up. So I hope that that helps you. I hope that you can uh, go through these steps and continue to use these tools as you're going out and changing eternity. Until next time, I'm Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com.